After six weeks in lockdown, this week we'll hear a plan for how it will begin to be lifted. The relaxing of restrictions to be revealed in a roadmap by the Prime Minister if the spread of the virus continues to slow. With details expected on how some schools and businesses may reopen, as today the government said talks to make that happen were underway. We're consulting with employers and unions, professionals and public health experts to establish how we can ensure that we have the safest possible working environments. And the Prime Minister will be saying more later this week. And as part of that plan to lift the lockdown, a new NHS tracking app will be trialled this week here on the Isle of Wight. The aim to trace the spread of coronavirus from person to person to get a more accurate picture of who has it and who they may have given it to. The government says eventually it needs at least 50% of the British population to download it for it to work. How central will it be to the government's policy of um, suppressing the virus and how much will it dictate going forward uh, the measures you have put in place or lift in terms of, of the lockdown? It's one arrow in the quiver, uh, but it is the case that other countries, Germany and France, are developing uh, apps as well, and we want to make sure that they're interoperable. The fact that um, other developed nations and um, our European friends and partners are going down this route, I think only underlines uh, how wise NHSX was to invest in and to lead on this technology that it's in the interests of the island and of the country that as many people as possible uh, uh, sign up to the app. It is one component. The more people who download it and use it, the likely the bigger contribution it will make. Uh, but it will not, I doubt, be the single contribution. The Isle of Wight's NHS and council workers will later this week be the first to test the app. But today there were mixed messages on how keen the take-up would be. Being able to like figure out whether or not you need to get tested or like go home and self-isolate, I think it's a really good idea. I think you'll find it quite hard to get the Isle of Wight residents to agree to it, partly because there's a lot of elderly residents who A, don't have a smartphone, and B, don't want to give away their personal details. There's my phone. <laughs> I don't understand the internet and I don't understand us. Play your part in fighting COVID-19 Coronavirus tracking apps are already being used in Singapore, where adverts like this encourage citizens to input their symptoms in much the same way the NHS app will work. But in Singapore, just 20% of the population is using it. Here, the government is hoping it can be more convincing.